Good afternoon, everyone. I'm doing a special afternoon edition because I'm so excited about Leela Chess. This is ID 461 against Commodo 8. I believe the time control is more liberal than some of the games we've been seeing recently. It's 10 moves every 30 seconds. So Leela Chess playing white, B3. I have experimented myself with B3 recently with some interesting results. Of the G6 is C4, so kind of transposing into more normal looking opening lines. So far it looks pretty standard. White castles here, bishop b7, knight bd2. So double fianchetto from Lila Chess here. Very positional. C5, d5, gaining space. Rookie eight, a4, trying to fix down black's pawns. Black obliges, knight g5, queen c7, e4 h6 knight goes to h3 knight g4 white takes off that potentially useful defensive bishop and goes on to the diagonal with the queen rook a e1 and it looks as though the thematic break to aim for here is e5 at some point for the moment this knight's kicked f3 and we have knight f2 which protects the d3 square that knight was threatening to fork the queen and rook there g5 and now f4 is played here g takes g takes the knight's kicked back guess what leela chas plays here instinctively basically powerful neural network decision here in this position if i give you five seconds to pause the video what would you play instinctively with white okay the lovely looking e5 this looks absolutely thematic in that it liberates the pieces here liberates the bishop liberates the queen liberates potentially the rooks at the price of one pawn and concretely now white plays a concrete tactical move in this position can you guess putting pressure on black knight g4 putting pressure on e5 if black dares take then there is rook takes f7 and queen g7 is checkmate so black's under great pressure here for the pawn. F6, knight takes, knight takes. Now here we have queen c2 check. Nudging the king. If the king went to g7, then queen f5 is dangerous. For example, like this. This position is going to be dangerous for black in any case. Okay, so that's very, very dangerous. Uh, we have here king h8, and now the move knight f3, rook f8. Now, here is <laughs> a curious analogous set of moves, actually. I've seen a video of Demis Safis talking about go, and there was something he described as crawling along a line in go which was relatively uh, unseen and original before. Here, the white queen starts to crawl along the second rank. And this is a different game to go, but have a look at this. Queen d2 hitting h6, causing a small concession. Knight goes back, and now crawling along again. Queen e2 hitting e7 and also threatening things like knight h4 and queen h5 so the queen is crawling along here with doing uh, subtle little damages uh, on each little movement if rook b8 be8 white has knight h4 here threatening knight g6 this is very dangerous this position for example like this the light squares in particular are very weak it doesn't matter about the check white's blasting through with a big advantage here in this position, this is crashing through with rook takes f7. What else is there? If uh, knight d8, rook e6 would be the end of the game, cutting off the queen from h6. So this is real damage being done here in this position. So black lets the e7 pawn go. Queen takes e7. Now this rook on the 7th is very, very strong. White has the much better quality pieces and is not even a pawn down now knight f5 rook e6 for a moment now the knight is kicked back rook b6 nasty pin bishop takes 
the bishops hemmed in with that beautiful pawn structure here as a prisoner of the pawn structure not going anywhere rookie one taking that far knight d2 the knight centralizing and black goat is it plays a very desperate move here white's just going to improve the position things like rookie six and knight e4 are coming so that'd be absolutely disaster for black look at the isolated pawns here so this is a desperate peace sack it's totally lost now one would think anyway a piece down so here a few more moves though rook have two pair of rooks come off white's just the piece up for not much game continues a little bit but the game has been basically won and the game continues a little bit here check check it's token efforts here it's adjudicated as a win for white so anyway the, there's uh yeah i just thought that was a little bit of a metaphor for a video i've seen recently in the game of go crawling across <laughs> a rank here in chess bit like a line and go a little bit <laughs> I don't play go but uh, anyway it was subtle stuff causing a lot of damage very thematic e5 break in this game white's pieces totally liberated black especially the bishop had a hemmed in bishop in this game so a very nice positional masterpiece from Leela chess against the great Commodo chess engine so Komodo dragon <laughs> chess engine okay hope you got something from it comments questions like shares appreciated thanks very much